Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers Clothes. Welcome to another weekend product review. Today is actually the first day of spring here in the United States. Uh, it has been about 65, 70 degrees, but uh, here the weather in New York is very unpredictable. One day it could be 65, the next day it's 32, you know? As a matter of fact, they're expecting uh, hail and sleet tomorrow, where it's gonna be about 33, you know? Received this box yesterday from a company called Rock and Rocker. This is a um, electric dethatcher and scarifier. I've never heard of scarifier before, but I assume it scars the lawn. We're gonna open it up for you right now. A uh, few years ago, I actually bought something exactly like this made by Greenworks. And I only used it once because how often do you defat your lawn? You defat your lawn if you mulch a lot, which I do. Mulching means that you don't pick up the clippings from when you mow the lawn. You just mow the lawn, the clippings go back onto your lawn again, and that the clippings uh, help it have more nutrients and uh, nitrogen for the lawn. But over the years, the buildup of the grass that has not decomposed sits in between the blades of the grass and it blocks the sunlight from getting to the um, getting to where the roots are. So once in a while, you do have to defat your lawn to get rid of the dead grass, right? Pick it up with a machine that sucks up grass, you know, the bagger, and then uh, that's when you can reseed. When you reseed and then fertilize, you'll have a better looking lawn. So <laughs> I actually need a dethatcher. I just too lazy to use it because mine's corded. I believe this might be corded too, but we're gonna try it out nonetheless. Ooh, this one has a bagger with it. Instructions. Get out of here, forget about it. We don't need instructions, I'll figure it out. Boy, they really got this in here, huh? Gotta pull the whole thing out just to get the bag out? Uh, this is corded too. So number one off the bat, you don't like machines that you have to pull a long cord around. It's just inconvenient. It gets tangled up and stuff and you have to do it a certain way. Like if you're going this way, you want to go from where the cord is out. If you start with the cord all the way out, when you come in, you're going to run over your cord all the time. So you have to go from in out. That's what I learned from my last one, you know? So let me get this all out. So here's the bagger, the small bagger. But remember, you're just, you're just collecting the picked up dead grass. So it shouldn't be all that much, you know? This is corded, so it's attached to the big thing. There's the machine right here. It's uh, mustard yellow and black, kind of the same colors as a Poulon. There's another handle here, some hardware, insulation pieces, foam. I want to make sure I get everything. Two side posts. Everything else in here is garbage, right? Insulation. Protection. Okay, we can discard this from the side, to the side a bit. And we're going to try to put this together without looking at the instructions. This might be kind of complicated.
So as you saw from time lapse, I put it together in about eight, ten minutes, something like that. Uh, I did look at the front cover for the picture just to get an idea what it looked like, you know. But I didn't read the instructions because I've done so many reviews and put together so much stuff. You kind of figure out where everything goes, you know. So I put it together. It was relatively easy, very straightforward with these uh, quick disconnect clamps, right? Uh, little round washer. I was thinking to myself, what could that be? But because it's grooved towards the piping, right? You knew that that was just a spacer to keep everything together. Uh, really easy to put together. The bag, you kind of had to tighten the, the net, you know, the, uh, the bag around the frame. And then it slips on just like any other bagger for a lawnmower, you know? And then of course, when I was finished, I'm like, oh, that looks pretty good. And I go, oh my God, there's another box. <laughs> So I open the box and this is the times, right? This is what you use to dethatch, right? So I'm like, is this an extra spare in case the other one breaks? Or is this not installed? Why wouldn't they install it? Well, I flip it on its side. And as you can see, I guess this is what's called the scarifier, okay? So basically this is more like a cultivator if you wanted to dig deeper into your lawn so that you can get seed in there, uh, yeah, kind of like a tiller or a cultivator, you know, to put deep grooves, at least uh, two inches of a deep groove into your lawn so that you can put the seed in, which is very useful because honestly, my lawn is so thin that I do need to reseed, you know? So I would think that you would first dethatch to get all the dead grass out, right? And then you could put that on to put the deep grooves in there so that you can plant some seed. So it looks like it's very easy to remove. They did enclose this hex Allen key where you can remove this right here, that right there. This part comes out. Then you can move this pivot out it's only one side, see? But you just stuff it in, put it back in, and then tighten. But uh, I guess I'm gonna have to do that because I wanna dethatch first. We wanna test the dethatcher. So I'm gonna remove that and put it in. See how fast we do that. Very easy, you guys saw, remove the two bolts. This white plastic frame bracket comes off of the uh, assembly. And you pop it back onto the new one, stick it in, it's easy. You match up the uh, half inch ratchet type square that's uh, attached to probably the gear drive, which is probably chain driven or belt driven, something like that. But it was easy to do, man. So now we have the defatcher attachment on. And if we wanted to plant seed and you wanted to dig deeper, this is almost like a tiller or cultivator, but they call it a scarifier. Um, that, that's cool. Um, easy, but a pain to, you know, exchange regardless. You know, it's, it's easy enough, but you kind of don't want to do it, you know? You want to just go, you know, but uh, it's a dual function thing. So if you wanted to have that, it's uh, two machines in one, you know, or rather three because it sucks up stuff. Cool. So if you don't have a long uh, garden extension cord, you have to go out and buy one. Uh, I have everything. So <laughs> I have this like 50 foot um, extension cord that you're going to need uh, now with that's the bad thing about having a corded product, you know, it's a pain in the butt and uh, this thing gets tangled as you go. But um, if you had it cordless, meaning you would have two battery packs in there, they're very expensive for the lithium ion batteries and also they don't really last all that long anyway, you know. So this way it's lightweight so you don't have the battery packs in it, but it's a pain in the butt to have all these wires around. So, you know, it's a, it's a pick and choose what, what you want, you know. They haven't perfected batteries yet, 
They're still so damn heavy and expensive. So this is lightweight, but it's ported. Uh, you want to do this because you're going to be pulling this a lot. You want to kind of tie it like that so that it doesn't pull out of place easily. There you go. See? All right, let's see how to turn this damn thing on. So usually you push a button to re take the safety off. Cool. Now I'm gonna go over my lawn. It will be the first time I'm dethatching the front of my lawn in like five years. I wanna show you the stuff that comes out, the dead grass. So we're gonna take the bagger off first just so I can do a couple of passes and we can see the dead grass come out of the lawn. So like I said, if you have the cord, you want to start from the inner part of your lawn to the outer. Because if you start it on the outer, as you get closer, you're going to run over your cord. You have to keep holding it, you know? So uh, let's just give this a try and uh, we'll make two passes then I'll put you on time lapse. So I don't think it did anything because I think the um, the tines are, I think it's too low, I mean, it's too high. Oh, you have an adjustment here, check this out. Zero, so I want to take it down, you know? We'll try it, we'll try two, how's that? Let's try it again. See what I mean by this cord? Cord is a pain. Look at that. You can see a noticeable difference in the amount of uh, dead grass that you pulled up. That's fantastic. Uh, should I try three? That's really low. Let's try three. Oh, now the cord is on that side. All right, here we go. Um, Second to lowest level. Pretty good. Uh, I think I'm, it. I mean, it looks about the same. 
so I think it's hitting as deep as it wants to go, you know? Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it this way. I'm going to put the bagger on and start from the beginning again and suck up all the stuff that's there. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, I want to get the uh, line to this side. Remember I told you? The pain, you're going to run over it. Run it over. All right, let's put the bagger on. See how much stuff we can collect from this bagger. When you just lift up the door, it's got two little hooks. There it is. All right, so uh, let's try it again. Okay, as you guys could see, uh, it did a pretty good job. Uh, the bag doesn't seem to pick up the loose grass as well as maybe a lawnmower, you know what I mean? Because the vacuum sucking action is merely that thin tining uh, axle that spins. So you don't have that much sucking vacuum power as if you had a lawnmower with, that's gas powered with the blades creating the vacuum so you, I, didn't, I didn't feel like you picked up too much of the grass so let's see we did the whole lawn back and forth back and forth we did the whole thing all right and this is the amount of grass i got uh, good weight you know but look as you can see it didn't fill up the bag so it could have taken more i doubt it because this part here is already blocking and it's so heavy that you're not going to be able to push it all the way back there it's just not strong enough to um you know suck it any more than what you got i mean this is this is pretty good you know uh probably four or five pounds of it that's not bad so that was pretty cool huh did the whole yard it didn't take very long at all uh i was gonna put this back on again and try it but honestly you could just tell that given the way these uh, thick blades are and how it's curved and angled at a certain area, this would tear up my lawn completely. So if you wanted to completely reseed your lawn from scratch, this thing would dig up your lawn like a cultivator, you know, uh, at least uh, an inch or to two inches deep into your lawn. All your grass would be pulled up and you would have nothing but soil, you know? That's when you want to reseed your lawn from scratch. Not overseeding, reseeding. Just redo the whole lawn. <laughs> I probably should do that, but I'm at an age where I don't have the patience for that type of project, you know? But this is, uh, this would, you would use this for that. And I, I don't want to tear up my lawn to show you, but uh, you guys get the idea. Just instead of the lawn, picture all soil. This thing would just dig up your lawn and you would have just all dirt, that's it. So this is a good option to have for this. I was surprised to even have it. I guess they call it a scarifier, you know? That's very cool. It was easy to put on and stuff, but uh, it did, did a pretty good job. Um, I didn't think it would work very well, but it works pretty well, you know? 
as well as the American made greenworks you know what I mean so uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want one I you know that's pretty good it's pretty good you know I like it I don't usually give these Chinese products uh, a good review but this one's pretty good I like it I might sell the greenworks one and keep this because the greenworks one doesn't have that if I wanted the option of doing that I have it the other one didn't I think this has a bag and that doesn't, you know? Anyway, uh, thanks a lot to uh, Rock and Rocker for sending it to me. It's pretty good. I like it. See you guys next time on Moore's Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, I'm Henry from Mowers and Blowers. As a YouTuber, that deals with small engine equipment on a daily basis, I worry about the harmful effects of the 10% ethanol that's in your unleaded gas from your gas station. Here on the East Coast, as winter nears, I think about storing my summer lawn equipment for the winter. Ethanol absorbs moisture, and what it does is it could rust or corrode and clog up your jets in your carburetor. That's why I use Ethanol Safeguard with stabilizers from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. Before you store your machines, a little bit of Lucas goes a long way. When you're ready to use your machines again, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowersandblowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.